What is this? And what is that? Find out next on Anatomy and Nat. Your nose is one of the most unappreciated organs in the entire body. And it does so much for us. It works 24 hours a day, our entire lives. It contains the breath. It humidifies the air that comes through our noses. And it warms the air up to body temperature. It also protects us because we have a sense of smell. You couldn't tell a fire was in the next room or what your food smelled like. If we breathe through the nose primarily and we have turbinates in the nose that produce mucus to catch that dirt, it catches the dirt in the nose and it pushes it down into the throat. Your throat will take it to your stomach and your stomach is better equipped to handle bad debris than your lungs are. So the nose is the primary path of the breath. You could breathe through your mouth, but your mouth doesn't have the same abilities that your nose does. We breathe through the nose until we get a problem, such as a cold or allergies. When you get that cold or allergies, it prevents the air from going up to the very top where the olfactory receptors are at the very top of your nose. So if the air can't get up there, you can't smell it. So therefore you can't taste it very well because we have 400 olfactory receptors as opposed to 40 for taste. Hard to talk about the nose without talking about the sinuses. Some people think the sinuses are in your nose, but they're actually not. They're air-filled spaces in your head, around your nose, and up above your eyes. And they're there to lighten the weight of your head and also as an air shock absorber for your eyes and your brain. And finally, what does a major league baseball pitcher have in common? with your nose. Hmm. A Major League Baseball pitcher can throw a ball 100 miles an hour. When you sneeze, you inhale slowly, and when that sneeze comes out, it's traveling 100 miles an hour for 200 feet. I'll see you next time.